I call myself a blogger. Um, hey, I'm an activist on, on many issues, state and nationally. I blog at Sidetrack in Utah. I uh, blog nationally infrequently lately at Jerome Armstrong's by DD. Some of you may have recognized my name from there. Uh, I actually got my, my first uh, my first project in, in the uh, transparency advocacy world uh, came from a grant from the Sunlight Foundation. Uh, in fact, I think Ellen was uh, someone that uh, I used to exchange emails with as we explained in the grant. Uh, we put together just an aggregation source for the state of Utah uh, for the West. It's uh, now defunct, but uh, that was 2005. Uh, and, and that is where I first got my exposure to transparency. Uh, since then, I, I've worked occasionally uh, in, in that arena, but we've never had an issue uh, in Utah until this year. And so we're going to explain the issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, okay. And Jason, when you when you talk, just talk loud. Louder? All right. Okay. Uh, it, late in the legislative session in Utah, a 45 day session, uh, an, an unassuming bill titled General Changes in Government suddenly became, in the final two weeks of the session, House Bill 477, with the justification from lawmakers that this was a privacy issue. One lawmaker actually comparing the, the review process of his email to a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Another lawmaker saying, what if my wife texts me with an issue uh, meeting, wanting to meet me in the, for an afternoon delight? I don't want people knowing that. John Dougal, the sponsor of the bill, presented himself this way as a legislator for years. This is a comment on a blog uh, from 2007. Made a big issue of this. Uh, the, the, the response from the public remembering that was what happened. Uh, the conversation started on Twitter literally that afternoon. People saying, where did this bill come from? It's just out of nowhere, you know, popped up. A huge change. A Facebook page was set up within hours. By the following day, it had about 1,000. By the following day, by the second day, about 2,000 likes. People responding to this change uh, to the Open Records Law. No one knew where it was coming from. So the, a rally was organized. One person set up a Facebook page, organized a rally, and it was huge. About 200 people showed up. Lawmakers responded with, oh, the media's not telling you the whole story. You're only hearing half of this. So we asked, what's the whole story? This is what we got, <laughs> literally. Uh, the explanations were all over the place. Uh, lawmakers' privacy being invaded. Uh, citizens afraid to email their legislators for fear their medical records would be released to the public. All of this covered in our current government open records law, which had, had so far, in every court challenge, uh, protecting both privacy and openness. It, 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 a good law, and they wanted to change it. So everyone's asking why still. Why are we changing this? Uh, the public rises up and, and starts doing their research. And this happens organically. No centralized organization whatsoever. They start researching the law. The Attorney General releases a handbook that was published in 19, or 2005. Everyone downloads it, reads it, and, and asks why the change. Same response. You can see the look on his face as well as changing as this process plays out. From the smug first picture to the surprise. What we find out is that they want to take text messages, emails, and many forms of electronic communication and just across the board say they're private because of the medium that the communication is happening on, regardless of content. That's their justification. The governor threatens a veto because of the public reaction. Yet, strangely, on the following Monday, signs the bill after threatening the veto. There's talk of a recall, promises of a recall. No recall has happened yet. Governor signs it. Citizens respond no, with a no. citizen's initiative petition. Uh, two hours into this, 700 online signatures and several hundred uh, booklets printed and distributed, with the help of the media, of course, throughout the state. Signatures are gathered, begin, uh, beginning of, of gathering starts that afternoon. And, and I believe they were up to several hundred by that evening. Uh, lawmakers, of course, watching and panicking. 
do they hate these citizens' initiatives? And here they are looking at probably the first successful one. So they take care of that with a ban on electronic signatures. The public responds with, that's fine. We'll do it. Paper. <laughs> so they step it up. Again, still no central organization here. A few of us as big vocal mouthpieces for this, but no centralized organization. This rally right here, 300 people at the state capitol started with a Facebook comment on one Facebook page. 300 people, middle of the day on, I believe, a Tuesday. Lawmakers start to change their story. You start to hear senators say, eh, maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe we should rethink this. Maybe there should have been more of a discussion with the public. Uh, staffers, Senate staffers, little bits of information leaking that staffers have told their lawmakers, or their, their legislators, don't do this for public discussion. Finally, another rally, uh, about two, three hundred people again, bringing the Tea Party, something never happens in Utah. The Tea Party, progressive organizations, uh, uh, general ad ad advocacy groups together, and they recall it. They vote for a recall, and we're told grandma was saved. And we find out there's a, there's a date on the recall. They're going to recall it, but this has to be resolved by July 1st. Uh, again, plenty of opposition. Lawmakers finally give in, and they say, okay, no, no final date. They put together a working group, I'm right. part of it, the Attorney General's office, many representatives from around the state, and the goal of this working group is to give recommendations to the legislature for final review in a special session, which will result in either a change to grammar law or no changes whatsoever. So far, the working group, all of us, the consensus, no changes needed. We'll see what happens. <laughs>